Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about the inverse function. Last time, we have uploaded the video with regards to the rational function. And our next chapter is all about the inverse function under general mathematics. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let's say, for example, I have here the function f of x is equal to 3x plus 2. The question here, how are we going to find the inverse of this given linear function? And here are the steps on how to find its inverse. First, let y be equal to f of x. Second, interchange the variable x and y. Third, Solve for y in terms of x. And lastly, we have to replace y by f inverse of x. By the way, guys, this is our uh, notation for the inverse function. f inverse of x. Now, let's try to solve or to find the inverse of this given function by following these four steps. Number one, let y be equal to f of x. So as you can see, we have here f of x, and we know that when it comes to function, y is equal to f of x. So we can replace f of x by y. So it will become y. And then copy this one. Now, we are done with step number one. Let us proceed with step number two. Interchange the variable x and y. So... For step number two, you will interchange the position of your variable x and y. If this is your y, it will become x. If this is your, if this is your x, it will become your variable y. So your new equation is x, from y it became x, and from x it will become y. So we have now x plus 3y plus 2. So we are done with step number two. Now let us proceed with step number three. Solve for y in terms of x. Now, for this one, all you need to do is to man manipulate the equation wherein we need to isolate the variable y. So what we will do is we will transpose 2 to the other side because we need to eliminate 2 and 3. First, we will transpose 2 to the other side and it will become x minus 2. Remember, huh? When you're transposing a term, it will change the symbol. If this is positive, it will become negative. And then equal to 3y. Now, we're not, that, we're not done yet, guys, because we can still divide both sides by 3. Cancel, cancel, because 3 divided by 3 is 1. And then there you have it. You have the variable y. And as for this part, we have x minus 2 over 3. So now we are done with step number 1, with step number 2, and step number 3. Lastly, replace y by f inverse of x. So what we will do is we will interchange first one to uh, We will replace this one. So we have x minus 2 over 3 is equal to f inverse of x. Or pwede natin siya, balik na rin, pwede siya maging f inverse of x is equal to x minus 2 over 3. Ito nga yung yung inverse. This is the inverse, again guys, ha? This is the inverse of f of x is equal to 3x plus 2. Now, I will add another step wherein we can check if the given if our answer is correct if this is the real inverse of this function paano ba ginagawa yan sir paano ba ginagawa paano ba natin ma-check if this is the correct answer so for checking guys checking time for checking uh, what do you need to do is to copy this one we have f and then Ang magiging input mo ngayon ay yung f inverse of x. 
dapat kapag naging input mo si inverse sa original function, the answer is x. If that is the case, kapag x yung lumabas, automatically this is the correct inverse of this function. So what we will have, what we will do is copy this function f of x is equal to 3x plus 2. And then our input is this one. Ito yung magiging input natin. Again, f raised to negative 1 of x or f inverse of x, ito yung magiging input natin. So it will become f of f inverse of x is equal to 3 times. Copyin natin to, it will become x minus 2 over 3. Guys, we're do, uh, what we're doing is checking lang ha. This is an additional step lang naman. And then plus 2. So multiplying this one, alam na natin na makakansal maka natin to. We can cancel out 3 and 3. And what will remain here is that we have f of inverse of x is equal to x minus 2, x minus 2 plus 2. And then we can simplify this. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So what we will have here is f of f of inverse of x is equal to x. Ito na yung mismong nangyari. Since pag nakuha natin ay x, definitely guys, this one is the correct answer. Again, this one is the correct answer. Okay? I hope you learned something from the first example, guys. Kasi medyo tricky siya sa una. Sa unang part na, ano, na pag-solve mo rito, medyo mahirap siya at nahari to. Pero, um, as you perform or as you practice more about solving for the inverse of a function, hindi na siya ganun kahirap. Now, let's have item number two. We have f of x is equal to 4x plus 3 over 2x plus 5. Now, let us follow the different steps na meron tayo dito. Um, interchange or change f of x to y. So, it will become y is equal to 4x plus 3 over 2x plus 5. And next step, interchange the variable x and y. So this variable will become x. And all the variable x here will become y. So our new equation is 4y plus 3 over 2y plus 5. And solve for y in terms of x. So ako ang ginagawa ko dito, I am doing cross multiplication. So I have here imaginary 1. So 1 times 4y plus 3. Again, 1 times 4y plus 3 is 4y plus 3. And for this one naman, we will cross multiply x times 2y plus 5. Our next step here is to use distributive property. So we have 4y plus 3 is equal to x times 2y, that is 2xy. And then x times 5, again x times 5 is plus 5x. Again, plus 5x. Since our target here is to solve for y, again guys, to solve for y, we need to isolate um, the terms with the variable y. So what will I do? Since meron tong variable y, I will transpose 2xy to the other side. Etong 3, it transpose to sabila because it doesn't have the variable y. So what will happen is that we have 4y minus 2xy is equal to 5x minus 3. Again, from positive it became negative. From positive it will become negative. And I will, what will I do is that I will put it here para mas makita natin. So we have, uh, I need to factor out the common, uh, the common variable. We have 
what we have here is the common variable y. So I can factor out y, and then we have 4 minus 2x. Again, I factored out, since we have time common y, I factored out the variable y, and it became 4 times, uh, y times 4 minus 2x is equal to 5x minus 3. And since our target here is to solve for the variable y, I will divide both sides of the, of the equation by 4 minus 2x. And this one is 4 minus 2x. We can cancel it out, cancel it out. We have y is equal to 5x minus 3 over 4 minus 2x. And as you can see, we already solved for the variable y. And the next step natin is to replace y. Replace y by f of negative 1 of x or f inverse of x. So it will become f of ne to negative 1 of x is equal to 5x minus 3 over 4 minus 2x. This is now the inverse of item number 2. So you can check if you have any question, put down in our comment section if you have any question about our solution. And I hope na nakuha niyo yung, ano, yung method natin, yung paggamit ng different steps on how to find the inverse of a function. Okay, so I will give you an activity for item number three, guys. And I want you to answer this one by yourself. And... Sana mag magawa niyo ito at uh, kung nalilito pa rin kayo sa steps natin on how to do the inverse function, and you can play it again, yung video natin. Okay, for number 3, this is your assignment. For number 3, let me have this one. We have f of x is equal to x minus 5 over 2. Ito na mismo yung assignment niyo f of x is equal to x minus 5 over 2. So, yun na guys. I hope na natuto kayo sa ating tutorial video about the inverse of a function at kung paano kunin yung inverse of a function. So, again, if you have any question about this, feel free to ask me sa ating comment section. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Marami marami salamat. Bye-bye!